welcome to Name Check with Michael Riedel. I am, of course, Michael Riedel of the New York Post, and I am very happy to be joined by an old, old friend of mine today, the wonderful actress and musician, Lynette McKee, who I have not seen since your showboat days when you were brilliant in Hal Prince's revival. Not that old, Michael. <laughs> old, 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 old friend. Chop off a couple of old, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> My dear friend. Yeah, How's that, yeah. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> and I we all have stripes, you, right? You know, you know it. <laughs> and we've also got Mara Ziegler here from Page Six. Mara, you've got some uh, tasty tidbits for us? Uh, yes, Michael. I do have some tasty tidbits on both Robert Pattinson and also on Lindsay Lohan. Ooh, good. I can't get enough of those Lindsay Lohan tasty tidbits. Yeah, I want to hear the Lindsay yeah. Lohan <laughs> stuff. All right, all right. We'll delicious. get right back We don't to hear you. enough of it. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> that woman is not in the news enough. She's not. No. She needs a new press agent. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's good to see you again, Lynette. Thank you, Michael. Um, I want to talk about Sparkle because there's a remake of the movie that you were in originally. And Indeed. everyone's talking about it because it's the last movie that Whitney Houston made. I know. Before she died. I know. Did you have any dealings with her? At no, all? I actually didn't have the uh, opportunity to ever meet Whitney in person. But mm -hmm. of course, we we all love her. We know she's a legend and an icon. And it's kind of bittersweet the fact that that was her last yeah, on yeah. camera work. That was really her last. That's the very that, that's the last yeah. time we will see her really yeah. in, in, acting sad, anything like that. So. Sad for me. How uh, it must have been fun to the original Sparkle, which is is it really? It's loosely based on the Supremes, right? The whole. I thing? don't think so. You know, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I'm not in the writer's head, but right. you know, Sparkle was written by Joel Schumacher, right? Of, course. of the Batman right, franchise. Right. A lot of people don't know that, but I mean, that was a. A fabulous experience. That was my first film. You played sister, right? I played sister, and that was my first role, and I got such great reviews on it, and mm -hmm. I was already writing and playing music and keyboards in Detroit. Ah. That's how I thought I was going to make my mark in the industry, was music writing. You're from Detroit, right? Yeah, yeah. from Detroit. Yeah. But then I got uh, called in to do this big audition for Sparkle and got it, and I didn't even know that I was going to be singing in the film. <laughs> and I'll never forget my agent, Sid Craig at the time, said, honey, I got a big audition for you. If you could just put together a song. Now, I had been singing and playing since I was five years old in Detroit. Had my first hit record when I was 13. I was like, yes, yeah, Sid, I think I could put a song together for you. <laughs> what was the song that you auditioned with? It was called What About You? And I sat at a big grand piano and played for myself. All the other wow. ladies brought in their own accompanists. Uh -huh. I sat and played for myself. You first came to my attention, though, in your brilliant performance as Julie in Hal Prince's great revival of show. That was a beautiful show. It was your first Broadway show, right? No. What else no. You My first Broadway show was for Martin Sharnan, the first. You weren't one of the orphans in Annie, were you? <laughs> Funny. I Maybe I could have been. But no, my first show was the first. The first I played one. Jackie Robinson's wife. That's right. Opposite David Allen Greer. David Huddleston was in the show. Right, 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 right. right. Did, um, uh, uh, who was the TV critic who, did, who wrote that? Um, they Martin. didn't like that show. No, they didn't. But Martin wrote it with Joel, with Joel Siegel. Joel, Joel Siegel, Siegel. Remember wrote Joel the Siegel book. from ABC? He was he wrote the book to that. Yes, right, he was right. wonderful. Right, right. So you'd been around Broadway before Showboat, but you had not had that kind of breakout role like you get with uh, Julie. I would say that's the breakout role. But actually, the breakout role with Showboat first came in 1983 with my first Showboat production, which was for the Houston Grand Opera. Right. That's the one I got the Tony nomination for. Right. And there was talk that I would get a second Tony nomination for the role, but the Tony people said, no, we can't nominate her twice for the same role. Right, right. And they had done it in 83. Now, you've got uh, something, I understand here, uh, um, a movie called Love with Common? That's, uh, yes, at, L-U-V. Uh, L-U-V, yes yes. yes, yes, yes. That's the newest Common movie. And uh, who do you play in this His movie? mom. Yes, I've been I don't relegated to play. I don't play. believe I, it. I, look, it's very upsetting. <laughs> don't they want me to play mothers now. I don't know why. <laughs> don't believe it. But this movie is well received at Sundance recently, correct? Yes, yes, yeah. very and well received. what's it about? If you can give us a it's an brief. interesting story. It's, it's, very, uh, it's very dramatic and deep. It's about uh, Common is a kid's uncle, a young boy, a 12-year-old boy, and he comes back into this kid's life. And the kids lost his father, and Common kind of steps up and takes his, the, the father's role. But it turns out that Common's uh, got an agenda. Mm. And at the end, it's very tense. It's, it's down to the kid with a gun and Common, and it's very, very deep. Very well written. A lot of twists and turns. I don't want to give it away, yeah. but it's really, really interesting. And Common's a great guy. He's a great actor, and he's a really decent human being. 
I want to get a little bit of gossip from uh, Mara Siva from Me too. Six. All right, well, some exciting stuff. Twilight fans are very excited for next week. Robert Pattinson is going to be in New York making the media rounds for his newest movie, Cosmopolis. It's the first time that he has done any press since the whole Kristen Stewart cheating scandal broke. So it's going to be interesting if he actually addresses the issue. He's going to be on Good Morning America next Wednesday. And sources tell us that um, everything is on the table for discussion. So he might actually end up saying something. Kristen has actually made a public statement where she said to the world, I love you, I love you. So we'll see if he responds. Um, he's also going to be on Jon Stewart on Monday, and the premiere is going to take place on Monday as well. Now, uh, Mara, I want to ask you, I had heard that uh, Kristen Stewart has been banned from the red carpet of this premiere, that she's not allowed anywhere near Why? her. Why? That. That's, that's what's floating around. Is that is that true? Have you checked this out? That is actually not true at all. We did talk to the event reps, and they said that Kristen Stewart is not banned. Whether that means that she is welcome or not, or that she's <laughs> likely to show up. <laughs> Um, that's a, a good way to put thing. it, Mara. Exactly. <laughs> but she has not been banned. Yeah, what do you do when you're at your big premiere and your ex, and your ex shows up I, trying, yeah, trying to get a true. picture with you? True. <laughs> true. Do you think we'll see a photograph of the two of them together on the red carpet? Uh, I do not. I would not count on it. But <laughs> then again, it would be exciting. So. Uh, and it would. We, uh, we cannot get enough of Lindsay Lohan, so what is she up to now? Um, so the Lindsay Lohan uh, comeback train rolls on to the tune of Lady Gaga. Uh, Lindsay is actually going to be in Lady Gaga's upcoming video for her new album, Art Pop. So um, it should be interesting. No word on what they're going to be doing, but I'm sure it's going to be great. You know, it's funny with Lindsay Lohan. I, she's never really had a career. She just had comebacks. It, well, and press. That's right. That's right. That's right. She's made a career out of getting really good press. Well, I, <laughs> you know, depending on what she's doing at the time. I mean, what is exactly her, what is her talent? Do we know what her talent is in particular? I think she's a good actress. She is a good actor. She's a good actress, and she's and also she was good a kid at getting... actor. Wasn't right. she a kid actor? And she was really right. cute. She was a cute kid actor. And she is good at getting media attention. So. She's very she's good at that. Excellent at that. All right, Mara, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, now, Lana, I want to ask you. You are teaching acting now here I in am? New York City. Yes, City um, College of New York. I have made some appearances on the NBC TV series Smash, playing myself. All right. And I'm okay, but I'm not great. Can so you, you might can you give me a couple like, quick little pointers here? I mean, stay coaching. in the moment. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. Oh, to right. be a good actor, you have to listen. Right. That's really all acting is about is right. listening. So in other words, I'm listening because I want to react as if I'm hearing that dialogue for the very first time. Yes, and the key is to actually get yourself in some sort of a place where you almost are hearing that dialogue for the first time. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what you have to do as an actor. Right, right. I mean, I'm playing myself. You can't anticipate. Right, right. You have to just listen to what the other person is saying to you and, take and it then in. react honestly right. the way you would, only now you're going to do it as the character you're playing. Right, right. Uh, and also, you've got another project called Dream Street, I believe. That's Dream your Street, like, yes, your yes, movie, that's correct. my screenplay. Mm. You do everything sing, you act, you teach, and write screenplays. You have to. Yeah, that's right. Don't you have to yeah. in our business? Yeah. And that's the, the Sundance Lab too, right? Dream yes, Street? yes, yes. That was one of the finalists in the Sundance Lab. And Dream Street's going to be a great movie when I actually put all the funding together, which is a whole nother story <laughs> and a whole book I have to write about you're, that. You're a producer as well, I see. Oh, my God, it ain't easy. And I want to direct it. That's <laughs> part of what makes it not easy because they really don't want women to, to direct as a rule in this industry. Really? They don't trust, they don't trust <laughs> well, you guys? And I can tell you they sure don't want black ones doing it. <laughs> <laughs> of that I am sure. But, but that's going to be a great piece. It's an ensemble role and it's told through the eyes of a young woman. Um, and it's got, it's, the backdrop is the hip hop music industry, but it's not a musical. It's a very, it's an urban drama. It's a right. tragedy actually, an urban tragedy. Sort of behind the scenes of the hip hop world of that Definitely era. behind the scenes, through that's the right. eyes of, uh, of a girl, a young gifted girl who's a writer producer. Mm. And finally, you have a concert coming up that I'm going to be seeing I do. this month, right? Yes, August 24th, Friday night. Mm -hmm. Tickets are on sale now. It's at Aaron Davis Hall, and it's Michael Henderson, who I grew up with in Detroit. Absolutely. Who's one of the greatest musicians in the world. Played and wrote with Miles Davis for yeah. 20 oh, years yeah, sure, before sure, Miles sure. crossed over. Right. It, as the only best way I could uh, say it. I guess he died. Yeah, as he crossed over <laughs> yeah, permanently. He, he's not coming back Yeah, later. he crossed over <laughs> permanently. But um, so we're going to do this concert together, and it's the first time we've ever been on stage together. And mm. the fact that we're doing it at my school where I teach, which yeah. is City College on the campus, 
with my buddies up there at the college. And can we expect something from Showboat? You're going to see Showboat. You're going to see my stuff from Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. Oh, Will. my God. That was a You're classic see off Broadway. All yeah. the songs from the movies, from Sparkle, from Cotton Club, from Round Midnight with fabulous. Herbie Hancock yeah, and sure, De sure. Dexter Gordon. You're going to see everything. And Michael's going to do his mega hits. It's going to be, we catchphrased it, a night to remember. <laughs> That's I know. Pretty so smart. Sounds like I we think got that's another, smart. Sounds like we got another Lena Horn, the Lady Eater music brewing here. I o think open, so too. She opens for two weeks on Broadway and runs two years. I know. Fabulous. Can you believe it? And yeah. you know that's rough doing those eight shows a week. You know it, but you can do it because you're a pro. I have done it. Oh yes, and you're a pro because a lot of the young kids Thank today. Thank you, Michael. A lot of Keep reminding they, me. <laughs> a lot of the young kids today they only want to do six performances a week. Well, you know why? You're a Broadway star. You got to do eight. Because they've not studied any technique and they vocally can't, they can't do, do eight right. shows a week. Right. Right. Well, they you can't can. sustain their... I, I can. And I'm coming to that concert. You better be there. I'll be <laughs> watching for you. VIP treatment, baby. Thank you very much, Don. It's good to see you a lot. Oh, thank Lana you. Lonette McKee, thank, thank you, you so much for being my guest on Name Check. And thank you, Mara, for the, uh, for the gossip. And we will see you next time on Name Check.